Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Alicia and in today's video we'll be talking about my 2024 bullet journal or journal lineups that I have. I am currently working on setting up five different journals well i have set up a few and i have already posted on the channel some of them will be linked below but the lineups that i have that i want to talk about in today's video is primarily going to be just talking about what are the purposes of these journals and what am i going to use them as so to start off as you can see there are five of these journals of various sizes and dimensions and I will go in details, not too much in details, but I will talk a little bit about what each of these journals means to me and how am I going to use them. To start off, here is a tiny A6 size journal that I bought from Muji. This is a spiral binded one and it is dotted inside with 70 sheets so in terms of the gsm it is not a very thick paper i am i believe it is 100 gsm and the paper is really smooth and the dots are even lighter shades it's not very dark so it's very nice if you want to just scribble something on it or use it as a sketchbook or a doodle book my primary intention of using this a size uh, notebook is to make it a commonplace notebook so coming to commonplace notebook a commonplace notebook is a place where you jot down any thoughts that you might have or you are going to take phrases from your favorite book, write down poetry or anything that comes when you are learning something new. So it's a place, it's a catch-all place for all the items or things that you would like to remember. It can be a recipe book even if you want it. So my idea of using this A-size book is to jot down poetry. I like modern poetry. I have had used a similar smaller book. Let me show it to you. This is a smaller size notebook that I actually got free from one of the uh, t-shirt companies that I bought uh, from India. It's called Bevakuf and Bevakuf in Hindi means stupid or idiot but it's more in a funny silly way. Um, so this is the journal, the commonplace journal that I kept where I wrote some of the smaller poetries and also decorated it with ephemera, stickers, washi tapes and it just it just is a very nice place to catch a um, few things and that you can reflect on. It is also nice that it is smaller in size so you can carry it with yourself whenever you are traveling or you know something that comes up on the go and you can just take it out and note it down. This particular page actually I have printed all of them using my Fomemo printer. This is the Fomemo printer that I have. This I believe is the M02 model in the size 3.3 into 3.2. So it's a very small size and it comes with, it is a thermal printer so you don't really need any ink cartridges. So it's very handy. It is charged by USB cable and it can be printed anywhere it connects to my phone very easily so it's a very handy tool to have if you want to print anything so i printed these all of these from their app these are all the free images that they have but this um quote and this poem were something that i got from instagram um, I also have the person's name who wrote the poem so I can follow him and 
get more inspiration so in case you're interested you can get the similar for memo printer from the link that will be mentioned below and if you use my link you will also get 10 percent discount which is a win-win situation for both of us just want to highlight that some of the links that i will mention are also my affiliate links so if you do use them i make a small commission and uh, it just helps me to keep working on this channel anyways moving on um this is like i mentioned a catch-all place for my creativity for my thoughts that i have it's not my daily journal i do have a daily journal that i'm going to talk to you about but this is primarily a commonplace journal where i will be taking down all of these nitbits of things that i like so this was in 2022 2023 i really did not focus much on this one but i do like how it turned out so maybe i'll do a quick flip through video um in the upcoming days but this is where i am going to focus in 2024 it is a little bit larger in size so i will have a lot of space for me to write maybe a little bit longer points and i am really excited about it i have already saved and screenshotted some of the poems or phrases that i came across which are which resonates with how i feel and or how i was feeling at that time and it really connected with me so definitely i am looking forward to using this one moving on to my next this is a traveler's notebook um this is also a traveler's notebook but this is the typical traveler's notebook that you will see uh from the traveler's company this is however not from traveler's company this is something that i bought from journal say uh they do also this leather bound traveler's notebook with the inserts inside um so this is something that i bought from them i believe it was um around 10 to 15 dollars somewhere in the range so if you want to check out something i also have the link below and the thing that i like about this traveler's notebook is first it is very handy in terms of the size i like leather items it has something about the leather um, the color and the smell that makes it nostalgic for me it's probably just something that i have grown up seeing my dad using it so it's just a bit of nostalgia i like that this one has a thicker cover loop and it does not damage the edges of the notebook when i open this there are two inserts over here and both of them are actually blank pages so you can buy inserts um, which are in square dotted form and in blank this one came in blank i prefer dots because that's where i do most of my bullet journaling as well and i have kind of you know got used to it i don't like lined ones i have never liked lines so if i had to choose i would probably go with dots first second would be blanks then the square and lastly it would be the lines anyway this is going to be my scrapbooking journal as you can see i have already put in some scrapbooking layouts i just wanted to try out how this is going to look this i actually did on um tiktok live um i did these three pages on uh, on one of my tiktok lives um i believe in the beginning of the year and uh, <laughs> that was the first time that I actually did a TikTok live and I was very nervous uh, because most of the time I do recordings like this and if I make any mistake, I have the power and control to edit them out and make it look more seamless. But live videos are obviously uh very difficult and you need to be really prepared and of course it's it's a skill that comes over time uh, you need to practice more so i guess eventually i will get better but i was prepared as much as i would have but 
I guess <laughs> I can do better. There's definitely a lot of room for improvement. So if you want to be part of any of my TikTok lives, I will link my socials down below so you can follow me there and we can catch up and you can probably give me your tips and ideas of doing more scrapbooking style journals and um, you know if there are any themes that you would want me to do like in different colors because this is something that I did for bakery cafe related and you can see all bakery stuff the cafe behind and the girl who's like very chill in her casual um, chic outfit um, so yeah i like to do theme based if if and when the opportunity arise uh, but i do like doing scrapbooking um, a lot it helps me to to channel my inner creativity and contain it in one place and not spread it out because i do have a lot of interest and hobbies and uh, it can take a lot of space and time moving on to my bullet journal for 2024 i have done a deep dive into the notebook i have done the 2024 setting up of the bullet journal and the january one i will be working on the 2024 sorry the next month uh february bullet journal setup soon so that should be live next week i believe anyway this notebook is amazing it's beautiful i've never used a notebook therapist notebook before and i absolutely love this notebook i've already started putting in the movies that i've watched and you know some tv series that we have watched um so yeah it's it's been it's been quite handy and i really like i really like this notebook um so far uh, you can see that I have started, you know, capturing my mood and the habits. I have been really bad with my Spanish. I have not even started practicing that I should have done. I did go for a walk, but for whatever reason, I have not captured it. But yeah, I need to do that. But January has been really gloomy and dark and wet in Ireland. So it's not very ideal to go out when it's raining. Um, so, so yeah, I hope. The weather is going to get better soon but knowing that we are in ireland it's a bit of a stretch if i have to say anyway this is going to be my bullet journal that you will be seeing for um at least half of the year i am going to use this notebook from january till june and then i am going to transition to another notebook for july to december i like to have two separate notebooks for half of the years and uh, this uh, is going to be the first half and i have the burgundy traveler's notebook from notebook therapy again these both are going to be from their maple edition and i really love the color they are so rich and uh, this is going to be my attempt on trying out a different size journal for my bullet journal and so far i would say it's been working fine i don't really have a lot of things as of now to write on a weekly basis for my um weekly layouts so it's been working fine um but if things do tend to catch up with me i will have to probably just tweak in terms of how i would want my weekly layouts and i usually post my weekly layouts on instagram so if you want to see how the layouts are going to look like you can check my instagram it's coffee journal labs it's the same handle that i have everywhere so feel free to jump in and follow me uh, and if you recreate any of my spreads you can also tag me there moving on to my personal diary so i have written things already in this one so i will probably not show what is inside but i did make a small cover page for the year and the month and this is from paper ideas this is another uh, notebook that i actually bought from a store a bookstore from from dublin and this has 100 gsm papers so the paper is very smooth very 
uh, thing compared to the 160 GSM that I am used to. So I cannot use brush pens that I have realized in this one because uh, it is a little thin in size and it has a tendency of bleeding. So I don't want to ruin the page and it's going to be for my daily thoughts. So I am just going to use a simple ball pen that's not going to be too protruding to the other side. So this is the simple cover page that I made for 2024. This was a die cut frame that I got from Journal Say and I just used a 0.01 Figma Micron to do the, sh the shading inside and just write 2024. And following that page, there was actually another page in between which was more like an index but I this is not going to be helpful for index for a daily journal. So I pasted it together and then I have the first monthly cover page uh, using the stickers from my own shop. I will link the details as well in the description below. I do post a few new items every now and then and the next item that I'm going to be launching in my shop is going to be washi tapes. So I have designed a few simple grid washi tapes in six different colors and there is going to be one in darker background with cottage core design so i am very excited about that so i have ordered in um minimal quantity uh because i just want to check how people are going to react and perceive to it so depending on how things works out i will be ordering more and of course i will have new designs that are that will be coming up most of the time i try to make similar designs or whatever i use in my setups i try to post it on my etsy store as well so that you can recreate the similar layout that i make for every month this is what i can talk about for my daily journal it's a very personal journal so i'm not going to be able to show you much but i do like that it is very minimally designed there is nothing you know obstructing or it's um, very plain and pleasing to eyes you can obviously decorate it the way you would want but i'm just going to leave it blank i like how it is and uh, of course it matches with my color palettes so that's about it moving on to a very different from my daily journal and very decorative this is a notebook from buke stationery i love how glittery and shiny this notebook is it is 180 gsm paper so it's quite thick and uh, uh, it's a very nice leather it's not leather it's vegan leather um and it, i just love i just love how it is i did all the testing um you know my first impression about this so i will link that in the card above and this is going to be my reading journal for 2024 and i really love how it has turned up i have so many information inside that i want to capture and the setup itself is is a humongous it was a long video that i had to edit uh, but i have started already using it my goal for 2024 is to read 40 books i already finished two that i should be updating here so maybe that will be in the upcoming video of my reading journal i am planning to release um, a reading journal update every month so for january reading journal it will be posted in the first week of february where you will see how many books i have read for the month um was it a good month i have also uh, you know my tbr list which i have mentioned as want to read uh, because tbr sounds like a task i don't want reading to be a task I read for my pleasure and I'm a very much mood reader so if I like the book I just dive in really head first but if it is not matching with my current schedule I'm not going to push it. I have these sticker sheets 
um, the star sticker sheets in my store and it has been one of the best sellers in December especially when this uh, reading journal video came out so check that out if you want I have the star rating I also have the spice rating and I am going to also include heart ratings for people who likes to put hearts instead of star rating for their books this is the bookshelf that I always wanted to have in my uh, reading journal. I have never used a reading journal before. This is the first time that I am going to use a reading journal and that's why I went overboard with all the information. And as you can see, I've already marked in the 2024 details over here. I finished a physical book and I finished um, an audiobook. The audiobook was Yellow Face and I really like that book. Uh, though the ending was uh, quite um, underwhelming for me, but overall the narration was superb. This is where I am trying to capture uh, my reading in pixels for both physical or ebook and audiobook. And here I have a little a flip of a sticker sheet uh, where I've just mentioned how many um, minutes or pages that I have read in this. I should be updating it. I have not. Again, this will be part of the reading journal update. I also have a reading challenge for 2024 where I want to read books from different continents and different countries. So I have placed four uh, boxes here where I want to capture those specific details from different countries and different authors so it's one of the challenges that i want to accomplish i got this idea and inspiration from muchi bujo what um i think she did this in 2023 and it was i believe for her it was a different author every month or um every two months um but for me it's going to be one every quarter i'm not going to push myself uh, too much with different authors and uh, you know different languages uh, because when you read books from different languages sometimes it gets lost in translation and I have seen that a lot with Murakami books I love Murakami and I have read at least 50% of the books that he has written so I have seen that sometimes the translation it just does not make sense when it is done from Japanese to English. But I do want to indulge myself into this challenge and I think it's going to be very interesting and knowledgeable for me to learn something from a different world that I am not part of. This is the January daily pages log, but I realized that I have reversed it instead of pages log, it's log pages, but I know what it means, but it needs to be reversed. And this is the reader tarot card sticker from my shop that I wanted to put it over here. I do need to write January, so I know this is for January and following this will be all the books that I have read, my thoughts about them and of course my favorite book that would be from January. Everything will be on my January reading update video that will come up in February. Anyways guys that was all for this video. I just wanted to quickly talk to you about my lineup for this year and this is what I am aiming for. This is going to be a very interesting year. I have so many ideas that I want to do for bullet journal as well as for my reading journals. And at the same time, I am working hard on my shop. So if you want to support me over there, I will be linking all the details for the washi tapes that I have used, my sticker shop, my links to the Famemo and Journal Say or any other shop that I would have used personally. I will link all of them for you down below. So thank you so much for joining me today in this journey. I hope you have enjoyed it and I will link a playlist down below for you to indulge in. If you want any inspiration for your bullet journal for the upcoming months and I will see you in the next one. Bye!